With Josh Gowling here at uh, Edgar Street, Viper three points that one. Yeah, it wasn't pretty, especially first half, but we got there in the end. I think we turned down a lot of opportunities to kill the game off, to be honest. Um, I think we had a couple in the first half, we had about two real click of chances in the second half where if we just have a bit more composure, the game's dead. And then obviously we you learn hanging on at the end of the game. But no, we're not free flowing at home at the moment for whatever reason. Obviously we are away, um, but the crowd were absolutely excellent today. They got us going all game, cheering, clapped us off at the end. So, you know, really appreciate it for that. Now, no net natural goal scorer or target man out there for Hereford today, but you must give credit to Tom Owen Evans. Yeah, I mean, when our number nines don't always get goals, but if when you've got someone on the team that gets 16, if I said to you before on the start of the season, would your number nine get 16? You'd be happy with it, you would, wouldn't you? So our number nine at times facilitates our wide men. Ryan's got seven, Miles has got seven, Toby's got 16 now. So I know there's this there's this thing about a number nine, but Toby's got 16 odd goals this season. So that's our that's where our goals come from. But given that he's not naturally playing up there on his own, he's normally number 10 behind a striker. Uh, you know that was a decent performance from him. Yeah, um, we we left him isolated at times. I thought first half um, we wanted our midfielders kind of. Latching onto him, I don't think we did that well enough. I think we sat off a little bit too deep for me, especially our two eights. Um, but he was a nuisance. When the balls went up, he made it difficult for the centre half to win clear headers. So when they knock things down, you can pick up the second balls, and he's got good movement and he stretches the lines and he presses well. So it was a really good performance for him, and we needed that. Um, obviously, Dre wasn't in today, um, so we needed that something a bit different up top. So uh, and he definitely gave us that. As a former centre back, how well did you feel Jamie Egan slotted in there today? Yeah, it was excellent. Uh, we spoke to him. Uh, we obviously trained yesterday, wasn't it? It's Friday today, isn't it? <laughs> Keeping it Saturday. Yeah, he trained really well. Look, Jamie's. I'm surprised he's not um, sorted at Bristol. Obviously, he's in his apprenticeship. So, um, but what he does do is he reads the game well. He's got a good pace about him. He's tenacious in his tackle. He wins his headers and he talks and organises. And you know, he's, he's not going to come up against. You know, Oswald's a decent player. He backs him well. Wins his headers. So, and especially the last five minutes, you know, he come to the forefront and he, he really led the team, so really pleased with him. Now you got the victory, but you remain four points off two available playoff places, presumably. Um, more to play for at Gloucester on Monday. Yeah, you look at it that way, or you look at it, we've jumped up a place and we're joined, what, we joined 10th? So, that's how we look at it. So, <laughs> four points off, look, if you go and win Monday and someone loses, you're one point off. So, and that's how we look at it. So, we, we, it's in our hands. We've just got to keep winning games and grind these games out and, and grind the wins out. And then we'll see, one of them will slip up. One of them in, the, in one of those two, York or, um, who's the other one? I just lost my Boston, head Boston, that's the one. York or Boston will slip up. And when they do, we'll be there waiting. Gloucester City, uh, plastic surface, different challenge for you. I thought you were going to say something else then. <laughs> yeah, look, they're, they're not a bad side. We played them here, they're decent, they get the ball down and play. I know they lost one nil today, but at the moment they're probably losing games by fine margins. So we know it's going to be a tough game. So we've, we've got them on it. We'll, we've, we've trained on 4G a little bit lately just to make sure we're ready for the surface. So, you know, we're going to go there and, and again, we're going to take it to them and, and try and get the victory. How important could the support be down there? It's always going to be big support down there. It's a derby, isn't it? So, no, our travelling fans are excellent. You know, even if we get three of them, they're, they're loud and they sing. So I know there's going to be more than three there, but no, they're brilliant. You know, we want to go there. Like I said, we, we probably play a bit more free-flowing football um, away from home. So anyone that hasn't seen us away from home, come to the game, because you might see a bit more football than you did today. But no, we need their support's massive for us. Today, it got the lads going. It, it enabled the lads to dig in and, and, and dig deep. And, and they kept pushing us on and, and, and cheering and chanting for the game and I think that just gives us that extra support that we need so we're definitely going to need that on Monday. The player that was missing and has been missing for a while, Mo Fowl, what's happened with him? No, I just think um, he's just missed a bit of form. Um, so it's just, you know, you, you mix your squad around, he's, he's, he's dipped in a bit of form for me so um, and he's probably not doing some of the things that I, I want to do and, and I think you're fine with lads that we bring in, they probably come out of the team for a period and then come back in when they've and they've done what we've asked. So no, but he's a great lad. He's got a good attitude. He, he works hard in training, and you know he'll get his opportunities. Come on for a, obviously a little cameo today, and he's just got to work hard in training to make sure when the next opportunity comes, he can take it. We've heard that Miles' story is training, but it's probably uh, too soon for him to come back. He's not training. He's, he's jogging. <laughs> That's a bit of a difference. No, he's um. He's been doing some straight line running, which is good, um, kind of three quarter pace. And to be honest, I've done a grade two hamstring, and you can't do that with a grade two hammy. So we're pleased. Um, so hopefully, you know, we're probably going to look at the County Cup game for him to get minutes in, fingers crossed. So if he carries on progressing the way he is, then hopefully he'll be in contention after that. Well, well done today, and let's see how close you can get. 
we shall see. <laughs> no Christian fears today, well, yeah. on the bench, but was that just tactical? Or? Yeah, yeah, just a just tactical shift. Um, Jamie's been chopping out a bit. Um, he'd come on the other day, obviously here, the other day, the other week here, set up a goal, and so, you know, we've got a squad and that's what we're going to use, and so we've used them today and it's, it's worked out quite well for us, so we're really pleased with that. But no, Christian's been in the dressing room, he's been pushing the lads on, he's talking to the lads at half-time, get, getting them going, he's, he's, he's a model pro, so he, he understands, you know, we're going to rotate from time to time. Like Vinny's the same, Vinny come on today with Keenan, so in, in that context, in those areas, we've got quite good options. And you've also got a young goalkeeper about you. Which one? <laughs> well, ginger haired lad. Out there yeah, Seb. Um, obviously, like we said, we spoke about lads in the youth team and doing well. If they do well, then they obviously come into the first team. So he's been training with us, and we like to give him some experience out there. You know, obviously in the in the finishing in front of friends and stuff. So, yeah, he, he's been around us, and like some of the other lads, like Ryan, and you know, th there'll be some more in the county cup game, especially. So, you know, we want to kind of bed them in because, you know, next season looking at it they're going to be a part of the first team next year, some of these lads, so they need to get ready. And did you think that the kick out of Tom Owen Evans in the second half, second half was a red straight red? He said it wasn't malicious, but I'm not sure what what accounts as a kick, if that's not malicious or not. So it's a kick off the ball, so for me it's a red card, isn't it? So, But he said because he didn't, maybe there wasn't enough impact, maybe, I don't know, but I thought it was a red, he saw it, but hey, it is what it is. We got the result in the end. He got sent off in the end though. No, no, it was, no, it was, it was Piggott. Oh, Piggott and then Flowers. Yeah, I think Piggott got the yellow and then Flowers got... I don't know what, I don't even know what happened with that one, to be honest. We'll have to look back at it. I don't know if someone said it might have been a little bit of a headbutt or something like that, so we'll have a look back on it. But, yeah, there was a few naughty tackles getting thrown at the end, wasn't there? I thought it might go off at one point. <laughs> You, I bet you were leaving the full time whistle. I thought you were going to go off at one point. I know, yeah. The, the lino kept telling me to get back in my box. So. <laughs> but yeah, when they're loading a box like that and then they're putting things in, I mean, there was a little hairy one at the end, wasn't there? I know it ended up flagging offside, but you just worry, don't you, know, the last, last couple of minutes when they're loading things in. And when you're missing the opportunities we missed, you then think, oh, are we going to get done in transition? But no, the lads were, were brilliant today. I suppose it's an improvement in performance performance-wise and creating them chances even though they missed it. Yeah, I still don't think we were as expansive as we were at the uh, filed game. Uh, I think we were a bit more, I think it's just tough to play out there to be honest. Um, and I'm not going to, Ben does an amazing job on, on the pitch, but it, we need some good investment on the pitch to get it back to what Ben, that, what ben needs really, because it's very dry, we can't play between the lines very well, we can't get the ball moving quick enough and he does a fantastic job out there to get it in the condition it is, but we need a, a little bit of money to uh, get it back to where it needs to be. <laughs> okay.